In this video, I am going to show you how we can run your AI models on the cloud using Beam. Now, Beam is a new way of running code on the cloud. It's pretty easy. You define your functions, you define everything, run it on the cloud and use it via HTTP request whenever you need it. Now, the features of Beam is that you can use this to run serverless AI workloads on the cloud GPUs that they have, we can instantly containerize any Python code and run it on the cloud. We can deploy task queues, sequence schedule jobs and long running functions. It's very flexible, it's ultra fast and you can start it in an instance. Because it is serverless, it is already preloaded. You just need to call it to get it started and it's has very less time for the cold starts. Now it's an amazing thing that I've come across. Therefore, I prepared a few examples that will help you understand this and test its capability. So for example, you can define different functions here, you can schedule different jobs here, and then you can start up an endpoint and you can deploy this to production. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use this to deploy DeepSeek R1 on the cloud and use it whenever you need it. So for this, you will have this sort of an infrastructure. So this is a platform of Beam and you can see that I have a few deployments here. So I have uh, DeepSeek R1 distill Quen 7 billion installed here. You can go ahead and choose a plan, but if you are on the free plan, then it's okay, it works as well. Now let's go and start up everything. So for this, I go to this place and go to the installation. So there are very good set of instructions uh, how to install this, but it's pretty easy. It's just pip install beam client. I'm gonna go to the Visual Studio Code Editor and show you the demo here. So this is an empty Visual Studio Code Editor here. And uh, for this video, I'm really fascinated with UV package manager in Python. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the UV here. So you don't need Conda, you don't need the virtual environments uh, creation process that we normally do using Python or VENV. We have a new package manager known as UV. And I'm really fascinated with this because just by saying UV virtual environment and my VNV, this is the name of the environment. You can create a virtual environment instantly at this location here. Now, in order to activate that, you just need to copy this my VNV scripts and activate because the scripts inside the scripts we have this activate here. So, this is the virtual environment. We are inside the virtual environment and now we can do what we are planning to do with Beam. So, for this, I'm gonna uh, name a new file known as models.py and I will create a new file known as chat.py. So these two files. Now in the models.py what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a model here. I'm going to define a model here. So what I've done is that I have started up and instantiated a VLLM process. So from beam start integration, we import VLLMs and VLLMs arg. This is the model that we're talking about. Now we're going to use DeepSeek R1. And then we start up VLLM, which is integrated into the beam uh, process. And you can see DeepSeek R1 is a variable. We start up this DeepSeek R1. This is uh, an eight core GPU. We have 32 GB memory. We have 10 a 10 G GPU here. There is one number of GPU and these are the different arguments. So we are generating and then we are trusting the remote code and then this is the maximum model length. So this is how we define the models here. In the other one, we are going to define a chat template because this is where we are going to put our messages. So this is the chat function. Let me give some space and show you the code here. So what we have done is we have imported the required models. We imported OpenAI. We're not going to be using OpenAI, but this is the OpenAI-like code. So in the OpenAI code, you can put in 
this deep seek a1 and you can use that we've imported the rich as well this will show beautiful uh, drop down structures and then we define the chat application this is where we define and decline the model the conversation and then we use this and append it to the history so we are putting in history as well then this is the chat completion process so client dot chat dot completion so if client is open ai you can say open ai chat completion and then we put in streaming is equal to true if there is stream we stream the response and then we define a chat function that will basically make everything prettier so you can see that console.print welcome to cli application chat application we'll see this output but this is used to prettify everything and you will see the results in an instant so we are using a while loop and then you're asking questions storing the result or i mean getting the response storing the result the question and the answer and this goes on and on okay so i'll paste in the code uh, and you can use this code but let's go and see the demo so what i've done here is uh, i'm going to I'm going to make a new requirements file as well because there are some requirements that you need to install. So requirements.txt. Now for the requirements, what we need is first of all, we need OpenAI. And since we're using UV, it's pretty easy. So UV pip install OpenAI. And you can see it's pretty fast. UV is pretty fast because this package manager is written on Rust. So I'm putting OpenAI here for your reference later. Next, we need a transformers. So UV pip install transformers. This is going to install transformers. So I need transformers as well. Then I need a something called rich, which will give a beautiful drop down structure. So this is the rich. I'm going to put in the rich here as well. Then I'm going to need uh, the beam client as well. So beam client here. Next, we are going to install it here as well. So pip install beam client here, C-L-I-E-N-T. And next, we need the VLLM as well. It's okay. Uh, let us install VLLM. Or let's see what it happens. Let's decide not to install. Now, once we have this requirements.txt, what I'm going to do is, in your case, what you, you're going to do is uv pip install dash r then requirements.txt. So this is what you're going to put and you can install all the requirements and you can see that it has audited and again, it, it has found that it's already installed. So there is no new installations that is required as of now. Now let's start up our model. So first of all, we need to start our models. So for starting uh, the model, what you need to do, you're going to do this. So beam and deploy models.py and the name of the LLM that you're going to use is deep seek underscore r1 now doing this will start up the magic here so you can see first of all it's going to build up the image so building image it's going to load up all the required installations just a minute and you can see that it's getting your system ready it's uploading Basically, it's uploading and it's done. So files already synced and we have deploying, deployed and invocation details is this. So you can invoke this LLM, which is running now on Beam. So if you go to the dashboard of Beam, you will be able to see the deployments here. And this is the deployment that you are talking about. And in this deployment, uh, what you can see is this HTTP link. Now, this is an important link which will be used to communicate with this instance, which is running on your cloud. Now, what you're going to need to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to a new tab, command prompt here. And I'm still inside my Beam um, environment that we have created uv environment that we have created now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this so uv run chat.py so i'm going to call up this chat.py 
our Python file using uv run chat.py and I'm going to press enter. What this is going to do is it's going to ask me to enter the URL. So app URL is this URL basically. This is the deployed uh, model that we have on the cloud. So I copy this and I paste it here. And as a matter of fact, you can use this as well. So I will keep this running. You can use this for a day or two. And I go and say stream mode is yes. And this will get my system ready, connect with the uh, DeepSeek R1 Distill Quen 7 billion that I have installed or that I've kept running on the Beam Cloud. And you can see the status here actually. You can see on the logs that it is trying to connect to my models that is installed for the first time when you do this it will download the entire model so it will download deepseek r1 that will take some time for the first time and when we have that ready it will be very fast so now we have deepseek r1 running on the cloud and you can use it from anywhere so let's get started with the first question what is the capital of india so let's get started and see the inference. It's pretty fast because it's not using my local system. Instead, it is using GPUs on the cloud. So the capital of India is New Delhi. And you can see that tokens generated is 246. Time taken is 11 seconds and tokens per second is 21 tokens per second. If you increase the GPU size and you can tweak with it, or you can tweak in the models, for example, GPU count, you can change the GPUs, you can change the memory, and that will make it faster or slower or a thinker there are so many parameters that you can play with but what i was talking about was this console and you can see that console.print this is bold yellow so this is the pretty good rich library formatting by rich i mean the rich library here so from rich the panel we import panel from rich.progress we import the progress so this is the rich library that is causing this beautiful beautiful display that we see uh, normally on the CLI it's pretty much boring but with the rich library you can increase uh, the prettiness of these things so the next question uh, let's say list me the steps of uh, creating a model such as deep seek r1 Let's see if it has the reasoning capabilities. Let's see if DeepSeek 1 knows about DeepSeek R1. And by the way, for the previous uh, completion, you can see that this is the completion task. And you can see that this uh, was completed. And you can see the task that it is finished here. So if you are, let's say, deploying an app and you want to know you want to restrict the customers on the counts or the number of attempts that the customer can make or the number of requests that the customer can make those everything is possible here now this is also completed as well so the user provided uh, the previously asked me with the capital of India correctly provided Delhi now they're asking for the steps to create a model like DeepSeek so you can see that it has the history component as well because we have integrated the history component uh, in this model so there are these other steps that we need to do define the project understand the purpose of the model then gather and prepare data choose a framework design the model architecture then set up training and validation train the model evaluate the model fine-tune and optimize deploy the model monitor and maintain and there are key considerations and you can see this really works now in the next video what i have decided and i'm working on that project is to use it from our mobile phones let's create an app using flutter and let's deploy this app on your android phone from your phone you're going to use olama which is running on beam architecture on the cloud so that's going to be an amazing video wait for it and please subscribe to my channel i will paste in all this code on github you can download that code but Beam, this is such an interesting thing because nowadays we have so many different platforms to run our models. Now, 
we can create an entire agent and paste it here and deploy it here and we can make a service where our customers can use that agent it's a pretty good platform for deploying our agents now i'm going to be creating more videos on this so stay subscribed and i will see you next time